Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to download and use your Twitter archive. So I'm logged into my Twitter account. In this left side panel, click on More. And from these options, choose Settings and Privacy. On this page, click on Your Account. And then choose Download and Archive of your data. You'll see this pop up to verify your account. I'll choose the email option and it's going to send a verification code to the email linked to my Twitter account. So I'll enter the verification code into this box and then click Next. Finally, click this Request Archive button and it can take at least 24 hours to get a Twitter archive download. You'll get an email message once your download is ready. You can then click on the download link in the email. You'll need to enter your Twitter password and then click Next. You'll see this pop up again to verify your account. Again, I'll choose the email option and it's going to send a verification code to my email address linked to my Twitter account. I'll enter the verification code into this box and then click Next. It'll bring you to this page where you click this Download Archive button and then click Download Archive again. It will then download the file. I'm using Firefox as my browser, so in your case, if you're using Google Chrome, it'll probably be in the bottom left corner. Then I'll go to my Downloads folder, and here is a zipped Twitter download folder. So I went ahead and moved it to a separate folder. But you don't necessarily need to do this. I just want to organize my things, so I just moved it to a separate folder. But essentially, we need to unzip this folder to access the files. To do so, right click on the zip folder, then choose Extract All, select a destination folder, and then click Extract. It will then start extracting the files from the folder. And then once completed, make sure that you click on the unzip folder. You'll see these two subfolders along with the HTML file of your archive. Now let me show you how to use your Twitter archive. So let me go back to File Explorer. Make sure you selected the unzipped folder. First, I'll double click on the HTML file and it'll open it in your default browser. Like I said earlier, I'm using Firefox as my default browser. And this is essentially the bare bones version of your Twitter account on your local drive that is on your computer. In this left side panel, you have several sections. Currently, we are in the home section. And in this area, it displays the contents of a specific section, in this case, the home section. So if I hover my mouse over this tweet section, you'll see this view link. And if you click on it, it'll display your tweets. Similarly, you can use these tabs to check replies, retweets, and community tweets. Let me go back to the home section. Similarly, you can click on the like section and it'll display your likes. Next, let me go to the account section. You will see several tabs at the top. We are in the General Information tab, where it displays the account information. In the Profile tab is where you can access your followers and people you're following. For example, if you click on the Following link, it will open a new tab and display all the people you're following. But just bear in mind that you need to be logged into your Twitter account. So if you delete your Twitter account, you won't be able to access this information. However, you can access this information using the JavaScript files from your Twitter archive, which I'll show you in a moment. Let me go back to the Twitter HTML site. Similarly, you can access your direct messages here, lists, and other sections as you can see here. Now let me go back to File Explorer back to the Twitter archive. I'll double click on the data folder and you'll see several subfolders as well as JavaScript files. 
In the Profile Media folder, you'll find your profile picture and header. Let me go back by clicking this arrow button in the top left corner, and it'll bring me back. I'll double click on the Tweet Media folder, which is where you'll find all your images, GIFs, and videos. Again, let me go back by clicking this up arrow button in the top left corner, and it'll bring me back. Let me scroll down, and here you'll see two JavaScript files for follower and following, and you can open these JavaScript files using Notepad. To open it in Notepad, first click on the file, then right click, choose Open With, and if you don't see Notepad here, click on Choose Another App, and from this dialog box, click on More Apps, and then choose Notepad, and finally click OK. You'll see the dialog box pop up, click Open, and it'll open the file in Notepad, where it will list down the Twitter links to all the people you're following on Twitter, and similarly you can open other JavaScript files. In the same data folder, there is also a README file, which provides details on how to use your Twitter archive file. But hopefully this helps. Well, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Thank you.